Okay, so the first text feature we're going to talk about is this one in the red circle. Okay, so what is that one called right here? Devea. The heading. The heading, good. Okay, so this is a heading, good. So a heading tells you the topic that it's that section's about to talk about, right? Kind of like a title. Okay, good. Over here, what is this one called? It has a book about frogs, and then it has the chapters and what page number they are on. What do we call that, Kelsey? Table of contents. Table of contents. Very good. Okay. Where can we find a table of contents? Anybody? It's shouted out. In the front of the book. Good. In the front of a book. Okay. The next slide. The words near a picture that explains what it is or is about. Down here, y'all see the red circle. Right there. What is that? What is that called at the bottom? What do you think, Bryson? Like the. It's like a little bit of a text about the picture. Like a little bit. You remember what it's called, Devaya? No, starts with a C. Allie? Um, Caption. Caption. So remember that. Captions tell us a little bit more about what is being pictured. So this is a tiny frog sitting on a bicycle seat. Okay. Over here, we should know what this is. It shows pictures that show location of topic being discussed. Leah? A map. A map. Okay, so showing pictures of locations. Okay, so caption, remember, is at the bottom of a picture. It's going to explain what it's about. Map shows locations. Okay, the next two. An alphabetical list that shows important words and tells what they mean. Alphabetical lists that shows important words and tells what they mean. Mm -hmm. You can also find this in the back of a book. What is it called, Evangeline? Index? No. Oh. Tells what they mean, like a definition. Glossary. Glossary, good. Okay, the next one over here on the right, the little red-headed boy. This is an alphabetical listing also, but this does not have definitions. It just has key terms, events, and names. If I want to find that page number to find it on, it's called what, Aaliyah? An index. An index. It even kind of tells you right here. Readers use the index to help find information they are looking for. So in this example, if I wanted to know about tadpoles, I would need to go to what page? 17. 17, okay? So if I wanted to learn about bulges, I would need to go to page 17, okay? So this is called the, the index, okay? It's in the back of the book also. Okay, the next one. This shows information in a visual way. See the colors, it's in a, in a circle form. It's not always a circle, but it organizes information in a visual way. If I'm a visual person, I don't want to just read a paragraph. I can look at this. What is this called? Kelsey, you remember? Right here, what do we call this? You learn about them in math also. Oh, uh, like a, a chart. Charts and graphs. Aaliyah, what were you going to say? Charts and graphs. Good. Okay. 
over here. Words that are written with thick, heavy lines, and they are supposed to tell you that they are important words, key words. What do we call it, Bryson? Bold. Bold. We've also learned about two other types of words to make them stand out. These are bold, but what are the other ones we've talked about? Starts with an I, Kelsey. Um, I know the other one, uh, but... Okay, italics. And let me show you what that looks like. If I highlight the word italics, you'll see it. Let me make it bigger so it stands out. Yeah. If I go over here and click this I, watch what happens. What happened to the letters? It they start to lean. That's what italics is. And it makes it stand out just a little bit. Y'all see how it stands out a little bit because it's tilted? Yeah. And the other word next to it is not tilted. Okay? That tells you that that word is important. Other words may be underlined. Okay? So they're underlined because they're supposed to be um, words that are important. Okay? Highlighted is also one. Good. Okay, this I don't have a picture of because it usually is pretty obvious, but I want you to tell me in your own words, what is an illustration? Not an illustrator, but what is an illustration? Ellie? It's telling people. It's not telling people. It's like... Um, Evangeline? Like, uh, if someone's Sketches. Good. It's a hand-drawn picture. Not a photograph taken with a camera, but something that is hand-drawn. Okay? Like my handwriting being hand-drawn. It's not a picture. Okay? These are dots we use right here. Y'all see these dots? They're being used to organize information into a list. I use these all the time. These we haven't gone over, but does anybody know what they're called? These dots. Bryson, you know? No, not a chart. They're actually called bullets. Okay. So these... Not like shooting bullets, but they're like bullet points. Okay? Bullets to show information in a list. Okay? Can y'all remember those? Do we need more practice? No. No. Okay, so what's your assignment's going to be now? Let me get it off of this. You guys are going to take your text feature definitions right here and try to match the word that goes with it, okay?